since I'm dealing with pros for this presentation, I wanna show you something that a lot of people have not yet discovered in Express, especially because it's changing and evolving very quickly. That's this little section called add-ons. You're gonna to wanna to spend some time in here discovering everything that's in here. Many of these are integrations, but they're incredibly useful for the types of things that you are working on as a designer, saving you a ton of time if, for example, you're trying to find a brand logo. Any brand you can type in here, let's say you're working on a project for Chanel, I can go ahead, type in that brand, and it's gonna give me all the logo assets here that I might need, PNG or JPEG. Let's say this is a mood board that I am pitching to my client, Chanel, I can go ahead, click and drag that logo and pop it into place. To be clear, Chanel is not actually my client, although I would happily take them on. I thought to myself, I wonder if I am even listed in Brand Fetch because I have a website. And guess what? Even I am. So it's pulling these elements from my website. And that's using Brand Fetch, which is completely integrated now in Express. Let me show you a few others. Media Grab. This is a great way to download images from a website that you might want to use in a design. So just like that, it is pulling images that exist on the homepage of my website. And all I did was type in that URL. Next, let's look at Auto Icon. Here you can find icons, but you can also find icon sets. So it's a little bit more advanced than what you'll find under Elements and Shapes. That's called Auto Icon. How about another free stock photo resource? Obviously, you've got stock photos integrated under Media and under Photos. These are Adobe Stock being pulled in. The selection you'll have here is based on the subscription that you have, if it's Adobe Express Free or if it's Adobe Express Premium. Remember that if you have Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, you have access to Adobe Express Premium as part of that subscription. But I love that they're expanding their stock photo search here. So I can go ahead and see if I want more options in this resource right here. Let's keep going. I'm gonna click next on Color Designer. This add-on gives you the options for tints and shades as well as a gradient generator. That's really super cool. I also love here under tints and shades, you can click the shades as well as the color harmony. So we can play around with those color rules right here. Now I'm gonna click on Space Fill. Space Fill creates patterns. You can choose to scale and generate patterns as many as you want here. This next one I've actually started using. I love this. It is a color blindness tool. So what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna give me the ability to imagine how someone with color blindness might see my photo. Up here, I can see a sliding scale. In this particular case, this is good for someone who has this. They're still gonna be able to see the colors. But you'll notice a little bit of a difference on that bench. Let's look through a few more. The slider really makes it helpful to see the before and after in case there's something that you wanna modify in your design. Next, I think you're gonna love this one, the Attention Insight. First, we'll specify what are we testing. In this case, we've got a flyer or a brochure. We will test this design. It'll take a minute to process. I'll speed this up for the purpose of demoing. This actually didn't work for this example. Normally in a video I might cut this out, but I do wanna draw your attention to the fact that it is a beta, so sometimes things will not go as planned. In the interest of time, I'm not actually gonna demo this, but what it will basically create, once it takes about a minute to process, it'll create a heat map of your design to show you where and what will attract the most attention to your design. The last one, Undraw. This is a great resource for vector icons and images. So you've got a great little directory here to find whatever you might need. And if you want to adjust that color, you can click up there. Again, these are add-ons in Express. So by no means are these main features, but I am loving these, particularly as a designer, I'm finding some really useful stuff in here. And note that every time I open this add-ons every week, I feel like there's something new in here. So definitely check back and keep your eyes on what they've got stashed in here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.